In this exercise, we're going to be using double stops to imply some harmony in the bass line. And if you don't know the term double stop, all we really mean by that is two notes, any two notes, played simultaneously. So in this exercise, we're going to be mostly popping notes on the D and G strings using the first and second fingers together. So before we do anything else, I'm going to show you bar number one, and afterwards we'll break down what's happening. Okay, so we're going to open up the first bar by popping two notes. It's going to be the G at the fifth fret of the D string and the D at the seventh fret of the G string. Uh, we're going to play both of those notes together by popping with the first and second fingers simultaneously. I'm fretting these notes with my first and fourth fingers, my fretting hand, and I'm using my second finger just to act as a mute there, just to stop any of the other strings from ringing. Once we've popped those notes, we're going to play an open E string in the final 16th note subdivision of the first beat. And between the combination of those three notes, we imply an E minor chord. We've got the, uh, the G, which is the minor third, the D, which is the minor seventh, and of course the open E is our root note. Moving on to the second beat of the bar, we have a 16th note rest to begin with, and then we're just going to play a purely rhythmic figure. Three notes, slap, pop, slap, all ghost notes. I'm playing those on the E string and on the G string. Like that. The second half of this bar is almost identical, but we're just going to take that double stop and we're going to move the G down one fret to the F sharp. So now we're kind of getting a D in first inversion kind of a sound. And the rest of the bar is, is, is the same as what we did in the early part of the bar. We hit the E string again, and then we play that rhythmic figure on the, on the fourth beat of the bar. So bar number one uh, is going to sound like this. And again. Okay, so moving into the second bar of this exercise, we're going to play this lick. Kind of an answering phrase. We don't have any double stops here, this is just a conventional slap line. So on the first beat of the bar we're going to play this phrase, and that's a hammer on from the B to the C sharp on the A string. We then play a ghost note with the thumb on the A string, and then we pop the E at the second fret of the D string. That's four sixteenth notes, so all of that takes place on beat number one. Moving on to the second beat of the bar, we play a ghost note on the E string, and then we're going to play the G at the third fret. And you can apply a bit of, a bit of uh, vibrato to that, uh, that low G. That's what we've got so far. We follow that by just playing a rhythmic figure on the E. And that's open E, ghost note on the E string, another open E. And to finish off this bar, we're just going to reuse that rhythmic figure that we had back in bar number one. Slap, pop, slap. That's our second bar. Let's put those first two bars together now. Okay, that's the first half of this exercise. Moving into the third bar, we're going to do the exact same thing as we did back in bar number one. And then in the fourth bar, we've got something quite different. So we're playing some different, uh, different ideas here. So the first thing that we're going to do is play this figure. Now this is a, a major sixth interval. Uh, so from the A, one, two, three, four, five, six up to an F sharp on the top string. What we're doing here is we're going to slide into that A and then we're going to pop the, uh, the F sharp. Now this is technically a double stop, but we're not plucking both notes at once. We're allowing them to ring together to kind of create a double stop. You get that nice sort of sound of some harmony happening there. So we slide into the, into the A, roughly from the G below it. Then we play the A again, and we're going to slide all of that down to the G, and that first finger is going to go with it, and we're going to be popping the E. So I'm using my second finger for the notes on the A string, 
-hmm. And then my first finger is playing the notes on the G string. And that's the figure that opens up our fourth bar. We're going to follow that, I'm just completing the second beat with two notes, uh, both ghost notes, of course, slap and a pop. And then onto the uh, the third beat of the bar. Nice and simple. Hammer on from the E, uh, from the D to the E, I should say, on the A string. And then we hit the open E string twice. And then to finish off this bar, we're going to use that rhythmic figure once again. Okay, let's hear bars three and four together. And that brings us to the end of this exercise. The lesson that you've just watched is from my brand new video course, 100 Slap Bass Grooves. This is a huge course with exercises for players of all ability levels and covering techniques such as basic slapping and popping, fretting hand slaps, double stops, double thumbing, strumming, double popping, all the good stuff basically. If you're interested in learning more about this course, head on over to baselinepublishing.com for more details. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you soon.